Hello everyone, this is Roger with the Dabble Lab, and today we're going to learn how to create your first Cortana skill. So the very first thing that you will need is an Azure account. You can go to this link up here, azuremicrosoft.com slash free, and sign up for a free account. Uh, they will ask you for a credit card, but we're going to do everything today with the free tier, so it should not cost you anything. They give you, I think, $200 in credits when you sign up. I have already signed up, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with my Azure account here, and we're just going to jump into creating a resource, and we're going to look for a web bot. We're going to start off with uh, the web bot framework here, and we can publish that on a Cortana channel. So here's our web app bot, so I'll go ahead and create that. And we'll call this my cool bot 99. See if that's available. That is available. I'm going to put this in my demo resource group. And we're going to go over to SDK version 3. Now, SDK 4 is out, but uh, this is brand new. So it's a bit buggy at the moment. So I'm going to go with version 3. I'm going to go with the basic Echo bot. And I'm going to select that. I'm going to keep all the rest of the defaults there and just choose create. This may take a couple of minutes. Okay, so we have a successful deployment. Let's go ahead and go over to the resource. And we have an option over here under bot management to go ahead and test in web chat. And we can type our messages down here. And we'll see what the bot says back here. And it's echoing back, just as it said. Whatever we type in, it echoes back, and it has an ongoing timer or a counter. And it also has a reset functionality, so we can choose to reset. Reset the count. And we're back to, back to 1. Okay. So let's go ahead and publish this as a Cortana channel. So the way that Microsoft has set this up is that the bots have different channels that they can communicate on. So we were just communicating with the test to the web chat. That's running and healthy. And we can go ahead and configure it with Cortana. We can add it to uh, something called the direct line, Teams, Skype, and you know Facebook Messenger, all sorts of other things we can add it to. But this is a Cortana demo. So we're going to set this up. So here we could upload an icon, we could give it a different display name and an invocation name, mycoolbot99, maybe a little wordy, but that's okay. And I'm going to choose deploy on Cortana. Now this deployment is actually going to just my local developer account, so that's the account that I've logged in here. And that is also the same account that I've set up uh, for Cortana. So that's how it should be able to access this. So it looks like uh, we've got our deployment here. Let's just uh, double check, go back to the channels. And we can see now that we're running on Cortana and it's healthy. So let's go ahead and invoke it. So I'm going to click the microphone and I'm going to say, tell my cool bot 99 hello. May I have your permission? It's the first time I'm accessing it, so I'm going to say yes. Now you can connect me to my coolbot 99 And we can continue. How are you, my coolbot? How's the weather today? So we're getting our echo back. We're getting our count going up. Reset. How are you? 
and we can see that it's working. We're back to one, and it's just echoing back what we're doing. And there you have it, very first Cortana skill, piece of cake. Thanks a lot, everybody.